there stampers and crafters my name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our Saturday morning blog hop online class um, and what that means is once a month I get together with my stamp it demonstrator group there's a bunch of amazingly talented bloggers in that group and we all get together and we share projects we create projects and share them for a common theme and this month our theme is Thanksgiving and for my, pro my project, I'm going to be sharing this uh, magic card. It is so fun, so quick and easy to make. And when you pull up the, the tag inside, magic, it, the, it's color magically appears. It's just awesome. So super cool. I can't wait to share these with you and how easy they are to make. Um, since it's a blog hop day, um, after this video, you are going to want to pop over to my blog at stampwithtammy.com or... Click the link in this video's description to the resource page. There you will find a free PDF for this class and you will find the information on how to take the blog hop tour, including the links to all of my stamp it demonstrators there. And um, you'll be able to enter our prize drawing. Now with every live online class I have um, prize drawings, but with the blog hop we have two different types of blog uh, drawings. Our replay will be um, a, 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 a gift from our entire group. Um, we will be giving away this Notes of Kindness card kit, um, and uh, if all you need to do to enter is leave a comment on my blog with the hashtag, and this blog post with the hashtag Stamp It Contest. This information is on, um, it is on my blog, and if you click on the link, it, it explains it all to you. You do need to use that hashtag, but here's the bonus part about being an after live drawing is that, um, or about being a blog hop gift is that um, you can enter multiple times. When you take the blog hop tour, leave a comment on each blog in the hop tour and you will be entered to win this amazing card kit in each single one. So that's our replay. It's a little bit of a different entry than my, my normal live entries. All right, and now our live drawings are going to be uh, for two. I have two. These are take your pick tools. They're brand new, amazing. These are like the Swiss Army knife of um, stamping up. And they're just fabulous. So I have two of those brand new in the box right here to give away live at the end of this episode. And I have an early bird. At the 10 minute mark, we have a pop-up scrap-in. I love these guys. Very popular. Stampin' Up! logo. Pop-up scrap-in. Everybody wants one. Leave a comment here to be entered to win. Um, and we are broadcasting live this morning on um, YouTube, on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook channel simultaneously. However, live comments... Um, <clears throat> recently there's been some changes, so the live comments are only counting on the Facebook page. So if you're watching on YouTube, you might want to shoot over or leave a comment at least on Facebook so that you're entered into these drawings because I don't want you to miss out. Um, so anyways, and I know a lot for some of you, you like to watch it on the big screen, <laughs> which does make me nervous. <laughs> not going to lie. Kind of means I got to put makeup on this morning. <laughs> if I know I'm going to be on a big TV somewhere. My hands are probably not manicured perfectly, and I hope that you can <laughs> overlook that. So, anywho, today is a really big day, and there is a reason why I'm on an hour earlier than we normally come on Blog Hop Day. So, normally my classes are Friday afternoons. However, once a month when we do our Blog Hop, they are Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Except today! So today's the exception to the exception. Um, and the reason why I moved it up today is because, and I'm going to back up so you can see my t-shirt here. Whoops, that's in the way. Hold on. Um, I'm wearing my Fight 2018 Stamp Out Breast Cancer t-shirt today for a reason, and a really good reason. Today is our big finale, the live event that we have been leading up to with our Stamp Out Breast Cancer fundraiser. We have a goal every year, this is our ninth annual year, to raise $6,000, which we have been very successful at doing in the past um, with your help. This is something we all work on together. It's a great cause. And when you donate $20 to our Making Strides Against Breast Cancer team, you get a free tutorial from us. And I even have the cards here to show you of what you're going to get. You also, if you happen to be in the Massachusetts area today and a rainy day, what better day to come out and stamp with us? You also get free entry into our event to make these cards. It's a lot of fun. We have goodies. We have pizza. We have cupcakes. We have 
lots of display boards and raffles galore for those that come to the event. There, You do not need to sign up ahead of time if you haven't signed up ahead of time, but think you might want to go. All of the information is on my blog. You can just click stampwithtammy.com or the link in this video's description. It's all there. You could also donate there if you're not local or can't make the event. And I have to share, this is super exciting uh, and probably one of the highest we've ever had before the event. Uh, as of last night, we were at $5,600 of our $6,000 goal. Oh my gosh. And let's just say usually we get, you know, half of our, our, our sales come from the actual event and the other half come from um, the online donations. So for us to start the event at this amazing total, we are overwhelmingly grateful for everybody who has participated. This is all going to be for a good cause. And I, I hope that if you haven't participated yet, there's still a chance. You can still get the free tutorial. And the t-shirt that I'm wearing today, the Fight Blingy, it's a Blingy Fight t-shirt. It's got the breast cancer ribbon. It says Fight. Um, you can order these on my blog and 10% of all of the donations of these t-shirts are also being donated to our cause. They have been amazingly popular. They're one of my favorite t-shirts designs. I love all the bling anyways, but the fight, it's just perfect. So we're very much looking forward to this event today. The information is on my blog for all of that. And, uh, as I mentioned, it is, um, our Thanksgiving blog hub. Uh, we are thankful for many things. We are very thankful for, all of you who have helped us participate and, and get close to our goal here of uh, $6,000 for a, an extremely good cause for the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay, so we have a couple minutes before we do our early bird. I'm going to pop down to the table. These are our live, draw live drawings here. Uh, there's two take your pick tools and the early bird will be for the pop-up scrapping. All you need to do is leave a comment to enter and I'm going to show you real quick. We were talking about the breast cancer, so I'm going to sneak these in here. These are what we're making today. They're beautiful and they come with envelopes and they're matching gold foil envelopes. So really, really loving the cards, excited about the event. I have uh, a bunch of kids, teenagers coming to help out with the raffle table. They're so excited. Yeah, I can't, we can't wait. We really cannot wait. This is one thing we really look forward to every year. And then here's the, the last card that we'll be making at the event. Now, if you can't attend the event, um, you do get the tutorial to make these cards absolutely free with your $20 donation. So it's a win-win all around. A win-win all around. Okay, so with that said, here's what we're making today. We are going to be making magic pull-up cards. Now, I made this original card back in, oh gosh, eight years ago. I want to say 2010, so almost nine years ago, I made this original um, magic pop-up card. It was back in the day we had this sock monkey stamp. He's vintage now. All right, that's not working. Hold on, hold on. I totally cheated. Wait for it. I'm not giving the magic of this one away, but I do need to put him back in his place. Okay, so let's try that again. This is what he looks like. All right, ready, set... He's awesome, right? Right? The magic is, the color magically appears when you pull this out. And the words magically appear in this one. See how it says thank you and he's colored in. Super, super easy to make. So today I have two to share with you. This is from the um, Country Home stamp set that is in the, um, sorry, this one's in the holiday catalog country home stamp set. And when you pull it out, there's grateful words. So this is really my Thanksgiving card idea for my blog hop. And when I was making these, see how it turns into color there, like insta color, no color, color, no color, no color, no words. <laughs> they all just magically appeared. So I'm, I will reveal the magic, but you'll have to wait till the end because I am a tease like that. And I hope the magician society doesn't come after me for that revealing ma secrets of magic here. Um, this is another one I made for a friend's birthday. And this is a, a um, it made with the animal outing. So you can see the animal, um, the kangaroo, Kango with her little adopted koala in the pouch there. And she turns colors and the happy birthday pops up when you pull the card out. So fun and easy. Okay, so 
this is what we'll be making. Um, before we get started, two things. Free PDF on my blog. I always have this with every class. So if you're new to uh, Stampa Tammy, you're new to my videos um, and my online classes, and please forgive my water coming out beside me. <laughs> There's always something. Um, anyhow, I always have a free PDF resource to go along with the class. And this has in it um, the measurements for everything we're doing. And I have some bonuses in today's. So it's got a picture of what we're making. These feature both of the two cards. I'm, I'm just going to make the country home card. They're both the same. Um, just different stamps. It's got a complete supply list and I broke it down by card of what the supply list was. Mostly the same, just a few different different colors basically in the, in the two different ones. And I brought back the template that I created eight years ago when I made the original one for you um, to make it super easy. You want to follow that template when we are um, making this card today and I'll follow along just to show you what I mean by that. So you can download this for free on the resource page of my online class and every one of my online video classes has a resource page along with this video and all the information in this free PDF. And you can get to it by the easiest way is clicking on the link in this video's description because I have a direct link right there. If uh, you don't see that, can't find it, just go to stampwithtammy.com or um, if you have a smartphone you can click on this QR code and it will bring you there or you can type this direct URL right into the browser, Safari or Chrome, um, and it will bring you right to this page. This The replay video that we're taping live will be there. We are, uh, I like to say we are taping live in front of an in-home audience, <laughs> but the replay, or syndicated replay will always be there for you guys. So this is very, these are very valuable for you if you want to make this project again. Um, Mm -mm. Someone's saying that it's saying not found this morning. Um, I will have to check on that because I can't do it at the moment. Uh, but uh, I will fix it after the video, Robin, if it's not letting you get to the resource page. I apologize if there's an error there. But it will be fixed immediately after this video. Okay, so this is the free PDF. These are the projects that we'll be making. Stampatimi.com is where you can get all of that. And now it is time for our early birds. Those of you who were up early, <laughs> got right in here and left a comment. You are automatically entered to win my pop-up scrap bin. And just give me one minute to get over there. So um, these very coveted, by the way, these, uh, these are things that, so as demonstrators, you know, we get a discount on the products and most people, that's what they join for. Um, but we also get like, like airline points or credit card points or it's stamping up points when we have um, orders and some other things give us points and we can get things like this for free with our points. We can turn them in and get um, and get something like this pop up scrap in. So let me pop you over here. So I am giving mine away to one lucky winner who has left a comment and that is going, 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 Karen Karst. All right, congratulations, Karen. You are the lucky winner of the early bird scrap up pop it, uh, pop up scrap in. <laughs> so be sure to leave a comment on, um, I'm, I'm sorry, be sure to fill out the prize claim form that is linked in this video's description. If you don't see it, go to stampwithtammy.com stampwithtammy.com and click contests and winners and not only that previous winners are listed there so if you're not sure if you've won something in the past that's where you find it all right now it's time to jump into some stamping i can't wait to make these cards with you they are so cool and so fun okay again this is a free free pdf you'll get this on my blog it has everything we need we are going to follow along with this template that i left for you that's on the free PDF. This is invaluable. Okay, so the two cards I have here, this is made with the Stampin' Up! Animal Outing. All of these supplies are available on my online store. Just go to stampwithtammy.com. And this is the one that we're gonna be making today. All right. Whoa, whoa, almost gave the secret away there. Did you see that? <laughs> All right, I, I was make, I'm making you guys, I'm making you guys wait till the end of the video before uh, before I share that with you. Although if you've made these before, you, you might know it. I did I did do this about eight years ago was my original magic card. So if you've if you've been with me for a while or you found these on YouTube, 
a while ago. You might, you might have made these before, but not with these really cool stamps. Right. Okay, so see the color coming in there? Okay, so since it's a fall theme, I'm going to go with the Grateful card. That's the one we're going to be making, but they do, they're both made the same way. So the first thing we're going to do here is cut the template or our card base. And, and this is our card base right here. And I'm using Rich Razzleberry. I used Fresh Fig on the Kangaroo Animal Outing card. Slightly different, but um, Rich Razzleberry on the, the Country Home card we're making today. You're going to want the paper trimmer because we're going to take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of Rich Razzleberry cardstock and we're going to cut that down to eight and a half by eight and a half. So this is already eight and a half. We just really need to cut one side here to make it a square. Okay. All right, so next up, we're gonna do a little bit of scoring. And since it's a square, it doesn't matter which side you score on first. And I am using my guide here. So we'll start at the top and we're gonna score right down the middle here at four, oops, four and a quarter. Just wanna make sure you can see that. Let me see if I can back out just a hair more so you can see everything that's happening here. There you go. Okay, so we're going to score at four and a quarter. Now, on this paper trimmer, I don't know, if, you, if you're familiar with my videos, you know, you know one of my pet peeves is having too much clutter around that you can't, you get distracted and can't see really what's going on. So I try to keep things out of the way for you so that you can really focus on what we're doing. Okay. So, it's four and a quarter is where we're going to score. And I was just going to explain that the Stampin' Up! Paper Trimmer has a cutter, which is the darker blade, and a scorer, which is the scoring blade. And these cutting blades are back in stock, by the way, I believe. They have been out of stock for a little while, and they are back. So if you need one for your paper cutter, go grab it in my online store. All right, now I'm turning it sideways, and I'm going to, I'm going to score it again at, and that's still a little bit off screen there, two and three quarters and five and three quarters. So two and three quarters and five and three quarters. You could also use your Simply Score tool for the scoring if you prefer. All right, so um, this is, and I'm just going to reinforce those folds just a little, just so we know they're there. They've made a presence. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Now, we're gonna choose one side as the bottom, and since they're both the same, it doesn't matter which one it is. And I'm going to cut off about a quarter of an inch. Let's see, that's a half. Okay. So that makes it slightly shorter. Slightly shorter on that side. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is cut out on this, on this short side that we just created these two squares and you can do that with your paper cutter or or you can do it with your paper snips that is totally up to you up uh, today I'm using snips and you're going to cut up to that center line and then just cut across I went a little bit on the inside of the fold so that this fold up is slightly, just a hair shorter when you fold it up in here because it's gonna be hidden. That's why it kinda of didn't matter if I used my scissors because it's gonna be hidden, but you, you could use your paper cutter for a really straight cut there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna check it can see right there it's catching a little bit I'm actually going to trim off a hair more on that side because we don't want it to catch when we fold up our card okay I mean this is basically our card base right here what we have just created is our card base believe it or not <laughs> Really, there wasn't much to that, right? I mean, it's fairly easy to do. It's a T-shape here. We've got a template, and this is what we're looking at on the template right now is these dark spaces. And the next thing we want to do is cut out a two by three window in the middle here. And you're thinking, well, how the heck are we gonna do that? I have a cheat. I have a hack for you. <laughs> Tammy's hacks. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start a new, a new thing. 
Like we're gonna add, you know, I have my own dictionary of words that I think I've kind of made up while we were crafting. Well, now I'm gonna make up a new one. It's called Tammy's Hacks. All right, and this is a super easy one. So I've taken, because we want our window to be two by three, I've taken a scrap piece of paper. Hold on. I'm even gonna write the words on here, scrap piece of paper. Just so you're not confused by anything else. This is scrap two by three. Because you can reuse this scrap over and over and over again. All right, I'm taking snail adhesive. Not a ton, because it's coming off, and it doesn't matter if it sticks really well. We just want it to stay in place for what we're about to do. And I'm lining it up right in the middle. And if you wanted it to go a hair lower here from the top, that's okay. If you want to just put it smack dab in the middle because that's the easiest, that's okay too. All right, now... I'm going to put this back into our paper cutter and we are going to cut around that box and I am going to zoom in here so you can really see the detail on the cutting blade to see exactly where I'm lining this up. Okay, there's a point on this cutting blade right here. That's the top of where it's going to cut. And this is the middle right down here. That's the middle of where it's going to cut. So we're just going to take that point from the top of our scrap to the bottom of our scrap. Boom. And then we're going to turn this and we're going to do the same thing, lining it up all the way around this little um, scrap piece of paper that we have put in the middle from point to point all the way around our square. Oops. That one's going to come down. I'm going to zoom you back out again because that one's going to come down a little bit. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the point on this cutting blade because that's telling me exactly where the cut's going to start. And then I'm lining up the edge right in the middle. And boom. And our last, our last part of our rectangle here that we're cutting. So we're trying to cut this out of the middle of our, of our card base. that little point right there it's going to go from point to the end and when we're done that pops right out and then here's the best part okay so we have our this is our window cut out of the middle I didn't have to measure anything which is the best part <laughs> that was about I like the best about this hack just pop that off and you can reuse it over and over and over again and then this you could use for another card that's just the, the window piece that we cut out so there we go tammy's hack 101 how to cut a how to cut a rectangle or a square out of the middle of anything pretty much okay so we are still working on our card base here um i am going to go ahead and cut using the one inch circle punch a little um a little knob out of the top here about halfway through see this is going to be our notch at the top that this is going to pop in and out of this right here okay all right so these are our pieces now this this is our magic piece right here that's our magic piece and i'll show you why once we um once we do our full assembly, that's where the magic's going to happen. But right now, what, what you're looking at, that was the hardest part of this entire project. And that, right, <laughs> was a piece of cake. All right, so while we got this circle punch out, we may as well just go ahead and punch out the early espresso circle that we're going to use for the top. Because we may as well keep all that in line. All right, so next up, we are going to start creating our insert. Now our insert here is actually two pieces. We have a window sheet and we have a, um, a piece of, of white cardstock underneath. All right, so here and congratulations on winning. That is very exciting. Go to stampwithtammy.com and click on the winners page or click on the link in this video's description and fill out the form. Happy for you. Just wondering how to how to fill out a claim or a prize. All right, so next up, we are going to take and I've pre-cut these. The sizes are on that same free PDF that we're using the template for. 
Um, I've got a window sheet. We sell these. They're clear uh, window sheets. And I've got a piece of white cardstock. And they're both, um, they're both the same size, exactly the same size. All right, so the next thing I'm going to use is my Stamparatus positioning tool. It used to be that I would cut the window sheet a lot bigger and then try to line the two up because they need to be lined up. And then we came out with this magic tool for our magic card or for anything else, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. I, I'm so excited. Now I can cut them both the same size. They're going to both stamp exactly the way I want them to. All right, so we are using the Stampin' Up! Country Home Stamp Set. This is available in my online store. And we are going to start with um, the jar. So I'm going to stamp the jar first with Stays On ink onto um, our window sheet. Now, I wanna, I, I, I'm going to give you a little disclaimer. I am using two different types of black ink today for a reason. Um, the Stays On Black ink we need to use for the window sheet. It's plastic, it's non-porous. And regular water-based inks like a Memento would not work on it. Um, it wouldn't stay. It wouldn't dry. However, we're also going to be coloring with the um, alcohol markers, the Stampin' Blends. And the um, this solvent ink does not, um, the, it bleeds with alcohol markers. So we need our regular Memento ink that we'd normally use for them. So we actually need to use two different black inks. And that is the reason why you have two. I have a little, why, why do you need two on my blog? I know, right? It seems weird, but there, it's because we're working with two different mediums. We're working with a non-purse subject on, uh, for surface on one, and we're working with alcohol um, on the other. Okay, so more information on that is on the resource page. We're going to start with the stays on. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is line up our card or line up our window sheet which I've got fingerprints all over so I'm gonna sort of yeah. should I wipe them off yeah <laughs> this is I'm gonna give you a tip here Tammy's tips when you are um, paper crafting especially with something like a window sheet don't put hand cream on before you start <laughs> My hands were so dry today. It's just getting so cold here um, that I put the put hand cream on before I started, so it wouldn't look my hands wouldn't look all nasty and, and dry and cracked. Yeah, so there's goo so that from the hand cream that got on the window sheet. So there you go. All right, so from here I am going to take the. Um, can you guys see that? Okay, because I can use the grid paper too if that would help. Um, I'm going to take the jar and we're going to place it down. So the other thing we're going to do is take the word so grateful for you. These are not going to be stamped on the window sheet, but I want to line them up there just so I make sure we have enough room for them. I, I want to make sure that when we, when we stamp that portion, there's enough room for them on the next piece. Okay, so we'll put those aside for a second. All right, so... We need some magnets to hold this down. I've got it positioned all the way in the corner of the um, Stamparatus, so it's easy to line up the, the next sheet that's exactly the same size. And I've just lined that up exactly where I want it on the window sheet, so I'm taking the pad to lift it. And we've got some um, stays on ink is what we're using right here. It stays on black ink. And just inking up that jar stamp and then we're going to stamp it down now if you are making a bunch of these for party invitations or for a bunch to you know just to have on hand which I like to do a lot just to have some fun cards I would just go ahead and make 10 or however many you were making of this section before I moved on to the next one okay so it's all right that that lifted up we have our jar stamped on our window sheet. That is really hard to see. And I promise it will get in view better <laughs> as we move on. Now, I'm not going to move the jar, but I am going to clean it off really quickly. And I'm using Stampin' Chamois to clean it off because I don't want to move it off of the, the pad here. These Stampin' Chamois are um, available in my online store. So I've just kind of wet because my chamois was starting to dry a little bit. 
So just kind of wet it. You could use an, uh, I mean, a baby wipe too would probably be good here just to dry it off for our next step. Again, if you were doing a bunch of these, I would do them all at once and then clean them all at once. So we'll get that ink off because we are switching to a new black ink. All right. So next I'm going to move in our um, piece of white here. And then before we stamp, we're going to put that word, stamp. here we go. I'm going to line up our word stamp exactly where I want that to go. And where's a, here's a scrap piece. I'm going to just put a scrap piece down here in case, in case that um, jar still has a little bit of wetness on it. I don't want it to, I don't want that to um, get on my piece of white that I've got there. So that looks about good where I have it lined up there. So we'll go ahead and pick. We'll go ahead and pick that up. And now we're switching over to the Memento because on this Whisper White, um, this Whisper White is going to be colored with the Stampin' Blend markers. So because we're using the Stampin' Blend markers, this is where we need to switch back to the Memento ink so that um, so that the colors don't bleed because the the, the stays on ink bleeds. I know normally I wouldn't use the two different in the same project, but today we're just going outside the box and doing it all. So because we're doing two, you know, completely different mediums here, the plastic on one needed the, the stays on and now the alcohol markers. Now, if I was using regular stamp and write markers, the regular water-based markers, then I could go ahead and use the stays on ink. I wouldn't need to switch to the Memento ink. Again, there is a full um, information on the two different black inks on um, the resource page at stampatami.com or just click on the link in this video's description. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp that down. Again, lined up in the corner just like the window sheet was. All right, so I have missed a portion because I have my magnet in the way up here, which is a, another beautiful thing about, I'm, I kinda like it when this happens when I'm live so I can show you how to fix it. Um, this is another beautiful thing about the Stamparatus because it's going to stamp back in the exact same place. I can fix stuff like this. So I'm just, how I'm going to do it is actually move that magnet out of the way there because I kind of had it too close to where the words were going to hit the paper. And so it didn't get a good rub down, but ha, <laughs> right. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Every single time. Again, if you were making these in bulk or doing your Christmas cards, you just keep stamping ink and stamping ink and stamping. They're all exactly the same. All right, so this is our um, this is our insert. We are now going to color these with some stamp and write markers. And um, for this project, this side of my tray, and I have these listed on the the PDF. So. You, if you're, if you're wondering the colors of the markers, and I'll try to I'll try to shout them out as I go, but if you are wondering, they are on the PDF here. So we're doing the country home card. These are the markers that we're using, and then these markers plus the the rich razzleberry for the um, for the kangaroo card. All right. So I'm just going to put those over here to the side for a second. Now, whenever we are working with um, Oh, you know what? I'm not done yet. <laughs> I wanted to go two steps further and make it not just a jar when you open it, but I actually wanted it to say, thanks. See the thanks? So let that also comes in the Country Home Stamp Set. I'm using Memento ink just like we did on this insert. And um, I'm going to stamp those real quick. So I've got... I do have these on acrylic blocks, but you could have done this part on the Stamparatus as well. And the thanks right in the middle. Super cute, right? Because I thought, well, what the heck, let's go all the way. Let's really make this dramatic when they open it up. I really want it to be a, a wow card. Okay, so I'm just looking for a little bit of scrap paper. I thought I had my I thought I had my grid. Oh, I do have grid paper handy. Yay. 
really like that um, the grid the new grid paper that comes you can get for the Stamparatus because uh, it's small and this is just such a small project I didn't need a full sheet for the I, I use this all the time when I'm stamping in my regular dining room but when I'm in the studio it just seems like such a big sheet to use here but these are very porous markers they are ma made to bleed through so you definitely want to have something underneath um, to, to keep your workspace clean so I'm going to start with yeah, let's start with the smoky slate, which is the outside of the um, the outside of our jar here. And so I've got they come in combos or individually. There's a light and a dark for every color. So this is the smoky slate combo, light and dark. I personally now there's a, a brush tip and a nib tip. I'm using brush tip today. I personally, when coloring with these, really like to start light and get it good and wet, and then work the dark in. For the highlighting however there's many different ways and styles of doing it and that that is not definitely not the only one but what you do want to do when working with Stampin' Blends is make sure that you're working in small sections at a time because they do blend and work best um, when they are wet when the when the color is wet and this is just regular whisper white cardstock that I'm using here. So I'm highlighting like the top here with the darker and then maybe making a little shadow line here for it with the darker. And they do dry fairly quickly so you want to work in kind of small sections. And then I'm going to use that light darker. I'm coming back to that light marker and blending in the dark. And you could go as dramatic as you wanted if you wanted to kind of even make a little bit of that, of that even darker. You can go over it again. And then this is kind of a fun piece. This is called the color lifter. If you really want to pull out a section of that and make it lighter and really make it make it pull together. Um, you can take this color lifter and just pull some of that color. And it just, I, I mean, I didn't do a ton there. I, I thought sometimes I think less is more. It depends on your project. But wow, right? That just completely brought this to life. So next up I am taking the, um, these are Dap Mango Melody. Sorry, I thought they were Daffodil Delight, but we're going Mango Melody today. And I'm going to start with the light, and we're just going to do this thanks in the middle. And then we're going to give it some highlights. Just to really... I, I really feel like the two to, the two colors together just really make it pop. It just makes it such a wow. And it's just such a simple way of, um, these blends are just such a simple way. And the alcohol makes them blend really well together. Just awesome, awesome. So we do have two different types of marker lines. And we have this alcohol marker line. And then we have our regular stamp and write markers, which are more of a regular traditional marker that all of them match our, our color lines, which is awesome. Now that's the color lifter that I just kind of did a tiny little bit in the middle. See how that just, I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what it did. It's just awesome. Can you see it? I feel like it just brought it to life. It's such a wow and, and so simple. And not being an artist by nature. <laughs> I mean, I love paper graphs and I'm addicted to, to stamping and crafting and card making and, and all of these techniques, but I am not, you know, I, I am not an artist by nature. So for me to be able to do something that looks that wow, I mean, you know, and, and I like to tell you, if I can do it, you can do it. All right. So next up, we are going to switch over to the blackberry. Okay. So I've got rich razzleberry, two blackberry. These two are blackberry bliss. And then I've got one rich razzleberry. Um, I, I kind of worked them together on this. So the rich razzleberry is um, a little bit lighter. So I started with that one. 
around the edges. And I know some people like to start with the dark, do the dark shading and then pull it together with the light and maybe that saves a step, but I just, I don't know. So I just really like the look of doing it this way, doing it all, all light and then bringing in the dark. I just think it's two different styles that both, that both work. Okay, so that was a little rich razzleberry and then I'm gonna come in with the lighter of the Blackberry Bliss. Who is in love with Blackberry Bliss out there? <laughs> That's one. I'm just so excited about Blackberry Bliss. I'm excited that it's come back. I'm layering certain areas. I'm just layering a little bit darker than others. And then for the final touch of of the the trio of colors here. I'm going to go with the, the darker of the Blackberry Bliss. I'm going to do this rim to make it stand apart. And maybe a few little touches of it to add a little drama on the side of our drawer. And when we're done, I'm just going to take that light, going back to the, the lightest color that we used, and blend in our color. All of those dark and lights that we, we mix together. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and then if you wanted to, just like we did with the other two, you can take that color lifter and I'm just gonna do it right here in the center and I'm just gonna do it ever so lightly. Pull up just a little bit of the color there. And our coloring is complete. I love it, I love it, I love it so much. These are just so fun to play with. Okay. So, we have just colored our insert. And those of you who are late are gonna get to, get to learn the secret to the magic. And then you're gonna have to go back and watch how it's made later. <laughs> Secrets revealed, coming up very shortly. All right, so first thing we're going to do is attach our, um, so we've got our window sheet and then we've got our, um, our whisper white. So we need to attach these two together so that they are, um, they become one piece. I'm taking a little bit of snail or Stampin' Dimensionals would work here. Not a ton, just a little bit at the, at the very top there. And I'm gonna line this up so it's lined up perfectly the image lines up perfectly there. So you can't tell, you can't tell that there's two images, one layer on top of the other. All right, so next up, we are going to attach our little pole here, which we punched earlier from the one inch circle punch from um, early espresso. So I'm gonna put some snail on the back of that too. Awesome, Dina, thank you for joining us. I see she's got her stamp it contest hashtag in there. Make sure to leave that on our blog posts um, because the blog post giveaway is slightly different than my, my lives. And it takes place on everybody's blog so you can enter multiple times. Um, it is a blog post entry. All of our all of our giveaways are free to enter, but they there certain ones have different ways of entering. So uh, leave a comment here to enter our live drawing. But for our replay and, and stamp it contest, and you can win both, you'll want to pop over to my blog and leave that hashtag there and then leave it on all of the blogs in the hop. These projects are amazing. You're not going to believe it. Every month, they, I, they just wow me every single month. These girls are so talented. And guys, we have some guys. I love it. I love it. I'm taking an eighth of an inch handheld circle punch, and I punched a hole. And I'm picking two ribbons today. This is... Um, Fresh fig, I believe. Fresh fig sheer, right here, sheer ribbon, and black cord. So these are two ribbons. Again, all of these supplies are in my online store. Super easy to get to by clicking on the link in this video's description. There are direct links right there when you download the free PDF, and they're also listed on the free PDF. So I'm just going to cut a little strand of both of those. And then we're going to poke them through. And 
might need to do them one at a time. I was trying to, I was trying to speed up and it, yeah, oh, I got it. Okay. I was trying to speed up and get them through, um, together. Hold on one second. I hear somebody is at my doorbell because we are collecting and, and, and meeting here to go off to the fundraiser and, um, my front door is locked. So give me one second. I'm not going to, I promise I'm not going to run up there to let them in, but I do need to tell them how to get in the house. <laughs> sorry. I am so sorry for this interruption. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So. And we are right at the end. I know you guys are chomping at the bit. You are like right at the end. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to attach these together with some sticky strip. But first, I'm going to show you, here it comes, the magic revealed. Okay, so there are two pieces here. There's a window sheet on top of the... Um, oh, there's a window sheet. Oh, no, they're still ringing the bell. According to, I guess somebody didn't get my message. Okay, so here we go. Okay, did you see that? See this little insert right here? That little insert, you put the window sheet on top of it and then you put the, put the whisper white behind it. And then we're gonna seal this back piece and then when you pull this up, it's that middle piece that's our magic. Oops, sorry. There we go. It's that middle piece that's our magic. And when you pull this up, boom. See it? That's <laughs> awesome, right? That is the magic to the magic card right there. Woohoo! So exciting and so easy to make. Okay, so I am just going to show you how to seal this up real quick. And then I think I need to go because my team is anxiously ringing my doorbell for the fundraiser <laughs> which is why we had to be a little early today i apologize for that okay so that was sticky strip that i just put on there on the back there or fast fuse if you are a fast fuse user that will work too i'm just going to seal the back of this card and then our card is complete bada bing bada boom all right and then i also have the kangaroo card Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so there you go. <laughs> so that is our magic card. That is how to make it. I hope you guys have lots and lots of fun with that. It is super easy, super cool. I'm going to do the, the winners real quick here of our um, live winners, which are for the Take Your Pick tool. And we'll pop right over there. If you've left a comment, you are automatically entered to win. And... Um, the first winner is Christine Chensi Shannon. Congratulations, Christine. You want to take your pick tool. And Kathy Stouffer, congratulations. You have won a take your pick tool. All right, so uh, all winners, be sure to fill out the prize claim form. And don't forget, today is our big finale for our fundraiser for our Stamp Out Breast Cancer. The information's on my stampwithtammy.com blog. If you make a $20 donation, you will automatically be entered to win. You can also purchase these amazing fight. I can't, I don't know if I can get back far enough so you, for you to see the fight t-shirts that we have. You can purchase them there as well. We are currently at $5,600 of our $6,000 goal. We want to blow this out of the water. So we hope that you will help us no matter where you are in the world. But if you're local, come join us at the event. It's a rainy day and a perfect day for stamping, raffles, fun, and food. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out the blog hop over at stampwithtammy.com or click on this link in this video's description and check out all the rest of the amazing projects. Thanks for joining me today.